Hello everyone, good evening, and welcome to Bedtime Stories. I'm so glad you decided to join us this evening. I have a wonderful, fun story you're going to enjoy it tonight. It's called Stuart Little at the Library. You're going to enjoy this story tonight. Let's get started. Late one afternoon, Stuart Little went to the library. Do you have any books for someone like me? He asked the librarian. How about Mice Are Nice? She said, third floor. Thanks, said Stuart. Is that a stuffed owl, he asked. No, no, this is Bookworm. He is our library owl. We let him live here because he loves books so much, said the librarian. Bookworm opened one eye and stared at Stuart. Owls and I don't usually get along, said Stuart. <laughs> don't worry, said the librarian. He usually sleeps during library hours. Well, thanks for the help, Stuart said to the librarian. Stuart found the book. I'll just read a little bit to see if I want to borrow it, Stuart said. Stuart began to read. Soon he was lost in the story. Then he fell asleep. Something woke Stuart up. I must have slept. Past closing, said Stuart. Indeed, you have said a voice. Bookworm, is that you? Stuart asked. The owl flew out of the shadows. It is I, said the owl. Oh dear, said Stuart, and he began to back away. Never fear, said Bookworm. I've already had my dinner. Besides, I don't I want to read my books, not chase mice. I love to read too, said Stuart. What's your favorite book? been so many, Bookworm said. Who can pick just one? Pick a few then, said Stuart. Hmm, well, yes, Bookworm pointed to the closest book on the shelf. I am quite fond of that one. He said, This book? Stuart asked. Yes, it is a work of art that has great meaning to me, said Bookworm. Stuart looked at the book. You like lawn care for dummies? Is that the title? Bookworm said. Can't you read it? asked Stuart. Well, no, said Bookworm. And no one else can find out. I'm afraid I'll have to eat you after all. Bookworm dived for Stuart, and Stuart ran. Bookworm chased Stuart down the hall, around the corner, and down the stairs. Stuart
Stuart could not escape. Bookworm landed on the top of him. Please, Bookworm, let me go, Stuart cried. I am sorry, my bookish friend. My secret must stop with you. Wait, cried Stuart. You said you weren't hungry. I'm not said Bookworm, but I will be sent away if the librarian finds out I can't read. I am a library owl after all. I promise I won't tell anyone, says Stuart. Maybe I can help you. I don't need help from a mouse, said Bookworm. Now you better go. Shoo, shoo. Soon, Stuart went back to the library and Bookworm opened one eye and asked, what are you doing here? I want to help you read, said Stuart. Well, don't bother me, said Bookworm. Let me sleep. When you wake up, said Stuart, here are some other books you might like. Let me see, though, said Bookworm. What is this one about? It's about a very smart owl who finds out it's never too late to learn, said Stuart. Well, if you insist, said Bookworm, why don't you start? The end. Boys and girls, wasn't that I told you I had a fun story for you tonight? Did you enjoy it? Oh, that was such a fun story. And the mouse was able to teach the owl something, which was to learn how to read. And I'm sure all of you are going to learn how to read if you don't know how to read. And if you've ever been to the library, what a wonderful place to find lots of fun books. Boys and girls, families, thank you for joining us this evening for Bedtime Stories. Don't forget, invite some new friends so we can keep growing and growing and growing. Don't forget, brush your teeth. Have a good night, friends. Bye, friends. See you next time on Bedtime Stories. Thank you for joining us. Like a mummy, gonna sleep like a baby tonight.